It's Dub Life Every Sunday afternoon It's Dub Life Natalie and Kaya too If you ride the horse Make sure you squeeze it tight It's Dub Life Tonight Safety Hey friends Welcome to episode 61 Of Life of the Dubs And To A start of something New? You see, yesterday, November 4th, was the five-year anniversary of when I uploaded the first episode of Dub Life. Or not uploaded, but when it was published. November 4th, 2018, five years ago, right? 18 to 19, 19 to 20, 21 to 23. Five years ago. November 4th, 2018 is when I uploaded the first episode of Dub Life, episode one. I believe that was a trip that I was by myself, uh, maybe in Texas, or in like Seattle. One of those two, I don't remember. Uh, some of the early uh, episodes were just me. And it's been five years, every Sunday, usually at noon, sometimes I put it at uh, some other times for our friends uh, in uh, other time zones and other countries. Uh, but usually, Sunday noon, every Sunday for five straight years. This is the start of year six. That's the something new. Not gonna really be necessarily a format change or, or anything like that. Um, but really just new beginnings, n a new kind of segment. Uh, it's hard to believe that for that long, for five years, I've been consistent every single week, um, every single Sunday. And then that comprises, you know, 265, 60, 65 videos. And there's been another 800 videos of other stuff, of toy hunts, of um, hashtag beat up fit, of Monday motivation, of uh, things with the dogs and the fish and Rufus and uh, bonus episodes and convention episodes and all sorts of stuff. I have over a thousand videos up on the channel. And uh, I was doing YouTube for about a year-ish uh, before Dub Life, maybe about six to nine months. I had posted some videos years ago, back to like 2012, 11, 10, nonsense. Uh, kind of what you would put on a stories or a reels now or a YouTube shorts. But I was just uploading a little 30 second like silliness that we do with the world's largest macaroni cheese noodle. That would probably be really popular in today's era. Uh, but um, I, I've deleted all those, taken those down. But uh, it's, it's fascinating. Uh, shout out, I think Josh Clinton is his name. Uh, Josh. Uh, and there's another, there's several people actually that are, have been watching back through from episode one all the way to today. And Josh specifically, he comments every single time and he just got to the part where Natalie and I started dating. So he's worked his way all the way through uh, the first two and a half years, uh, two years or so of Dub Life. It's hard to believe that I think over half of those episodes now, more than half, uh, I've been with that, you know, we've, you've seen our family. Uh, but, you know, we're starting off with just me because I'm just reflecting a little bit on everything that's happened in the past five years. So certainly there is a lot of silly stuff. Uh, I thanks to Steve for participating last week in our silly kind of <laughs> tribute to the last five years with the song. Steve certainly part of a number of memorable moments. Um, but if I think about what that five years has meant, you've seen... Almost the entirety of my relationship with David. We only had met just a little bit before that. Um, probably six months before that, we had met uh, at Toylanta in 2018. And uh, you've seen uh, the majority of my relationship with uh, Josh. We had met just a few months before that at like Fanboy. And those videos are also on my channel. Uh, it's just not Dub Life. Um, people like Cody, the same. Greg Cook, the same. And then people like Kent or Mike, OG Geek, uh, Seth or uh, Jan or Humpty or the Diamond Dave. I'm just trying to think of people. Ron, the entirety of my relationship with a lot of those people is, is on these things. Now, I don't mean everything we've ever done together because we certainly all have relationships that extend outside of what you see on YouTube. But that, like... My life, I didn't know those people at all before Dub Life began. 
And uh, that's pretty remarkable. And then uh, Natalie being a big one, right? Natalie and Kaya entering my life three years, three, almost three years ago now. Certainly uh, changing everything for the better. Um, Victoria was a much bigger part of earlier episodes uh, before um, she had uh, got, got her own house, got her new job, finished school, all this stuff. And so she was here a lot more often. Um, and it, it, she's just seen a lot. She's seen a lot of stuff with my buddy Andrew and then uh, other, other buddies, Andrew, Andrew in the Carolinas, Andrew in Tennessee, and of course, Andrew in Georgia. Uh, it's just a lot, uh, you know, and I just think about all the things that have happened um, over the last five years. There's certainly lots of silly stuff, lots of things you can go find. Um, if you go back to Dub Life episode 100, I think it's episode 100, where I kind of think back on like uh, a retrospective and some of the funniest moments we've had in Dub Life. And I think I even show a clip show of some of that stuff. Uh, but there's been a lot. But we're looking forward. We're looking forward. And... Uh, I don't know what comes next, truly. Uh, I think if you are like us uh, in the current economic conditions, um, we're doing less buying. I say as I've got three boxes of toys in front of me. Uh, we're doing less conventions. Uh, Anime Weekend Atlanta is coming up here in a few days for us. Uh, it's about a week ago for you. I'm not, I don't think we're going to go. And that's a convention we've gone to several years in a row that Kai enjoys. And we might. It's really expensive. Tickets are expensive. They don't give press passes out. Um, and then it's even more expensive to go buy signatures. And, and some of the stuff's just gotten, it's just gotten too much. Uh, and uh, we are going to Legion's Con. Uh, in fact, I think Legion's Con will be the next two Sundays. So we're going to a thing called Intern for a Day. We're fortunate enough to get to go to. Where Natalie and I will get to go into Four Horsemen Studios and kind of learn about how they make Mythic Legions and learn how to paint and sculpt and some of that stuff. Get a behind-the-scenes look. And then we'll be a part of G-Con, which is their Four Horsemen's convention, one day where they reveal the new wave of Mythic Legions and various things. And then there's Legions Con. So I think uh, next week, next Sunday, will be intern for a day at G-Con and our, our road trip up. We're going to pick up Kent, I think, on the way. And then the Sunday after that will be the Legions Con episode. Plus, I'll probably have a dedicated Legions Con hunt video or something in the middle. So a lot of uh, Four Horsemen, Mythic Legion stuff coming up. We are going to Legions Con, but after that, we're probably going to shut it down. We have Six Flags passes. We'll try to get to Six Flags. Even I've said we're going to go to Six Flags. It's almost Halloween. We've only been the one time that you saw with Kai and I um, at the beginning of Halloween. We just haven't been able to get back. Every Friday night, Kai has a competition. Almost every Saturday, she has a competition. In fact, right now, today... Uh, she is at uh, their final competition, like the grand competition, which I'll be going to later tonight. Maybe I'll have a clip of that. I don't know. Uh, I try not to show much, but I am on a new phone. I got iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've been using iPhone 13 for a few years. Uh, so uh, it does have a, a better camera. So maybe we'll get some clips of her. Um, but, I, you know, so I, I just don't think the two-hour videos are going to be pretty few and far between. I think it's going to be more 20, 30, 40 minute vlogs, uh, maybe a little snappier. Um, I don't know. But I wanted to spend a little bit with just me thinking about everything that has happened over the last five years and, and, and certainly um, improving my health and then not improving my health and struggling with it and uh, COVID and my job, you know, I have multiple promotions over the time. And we've been to Mexico, we've been to Jamaica. I mean, it, it's just been crazy. We've been to so many cities. Uh, it's been a lot. And I think uh, it's quite a journey. It's quite a story. If you're relatively new to the channel, it'll take a lot of work because it's, you know, probably four or 500 hours of content. But to watch through all of these in order, um, and if Josh is watching, he can leave a, a comment. I think it's uh, quite a thing to see how one person's life has been documented and has changed over the last five years. So thanks for joining us as we start year six. Now, what are we going to do for this Video. Well, we have toys. A couple things from NECA, I think, from Four Horsemen. We're going to open them up. Uh, we will not open up the Four Horsemen uh, properly because I think I'm going to do a separate video for those. We might open up the NECA stuff. We'll see. Um, but then we're going to celebrate the beginning of year six. And the way that has been requested of a celebrate is that Kaya and I do a color guard routine. So Kaya has two flags she's brought here. She has choreographed uh, like a minute and a half dance routine, and she's going to teach it to me tomorrow, and then we're going to do it, perform it for Natalie. 
which Natalie is very excited for. So I'm sure you will see us learning and some bloopers of me trying to learn how to do the color guard. And then you'll see that finished product. So we got toys, we got color guard. I do have a pile of loot that uh, is coming, but I don't know that I'll be here in time for this video. But that's how we're gonna celebrate the beginning of year six is with my family, which I'm excited for. Uh, Rufus is laying at my feet. We've been watching Rose for two weeks, so he's pretty wiped out. Natalie's actually driving to Victoria's house to bring Rose home right now. And uh, then we'll be all back together celebrating our family. So let's get started. You heard me ramble on long enough. Thank you to all of you for watching, whether this is your first episode that you've watched or whether you've watched all 275 of them or whatever the number is. And you've been with me uh, for a long time. Uh, I was telling Natalie just yesterday uh, that sometimes it's, especially right now because we're so busy and, and we got so much stuff with Kaya's team in school and we just don't do things that are film worthy. We just don't. You know, we, we're living a, a pretty uh, kind of everyday life, right? Work, school occasions, work occasions, work events, school events. Uh, you know, go out to dinner as a family, spend some time together, uh, play video games as a family. Um, and we're not going to, we're trying not to spend net new money. We're trying to enjoy the things we have. Uh, although we did get Mario Wonder has come in. That game was a lot of fun. Natalie and I are playing that. We did beat new Super Luigi Brothers. Um, we've almost beaten Super Mario 3D World. Those are both older games from the Wii that we're playing on the Switch. Uh, and But now we started playing Wonder. Wonder looks awesome. I did get Spider-Man 2 on PS5. I only played like halfway through the intro. And then we had to go to a game. Uh, we did get Detective Pikachu. I don't know if Kai has played that yet. And we did got the new Sonic. All those are games I had pre-ordered. Uh, Best Buy has buy two, get one free Switch games if you're a member. So, I mean, that's a tremendous sale. So anyway, that's what we're doing. You know, we're not going out and about and doing a lot of stuff. So, and I was telling her it's hard. You know, sometimes it's hard. I don't want to feel like I'm having to make a video. I don't want to just go to Walmart to make a video. Um, but there are so many of you that comment about how much this means every week and getting to check in with our family and the positive vibes and the energy that we put out in the world. So we take that seriously and it means a lot to us to support folks. So uh, that's where we're at. Now, I'm gonna cut the camera. This is a long clip and uh, we're gonna open up these things, uh, these boxes in front of me and uh, look at what we got. We're gonna start with this box from the Four Horsemen. Uh, now, recently, uh, as you're watching this, it's been several weeks ago, they put up a surprise wave, uh, an in-stock wave, Mythic Legions reinforcements. Uh, wave 2 or Reinforcements 2, I don't know if it was called Wave 2, but it was a Reinforcements Wave. Now, what, what when they do something that's called Reinforcements, um, they are, in essence, it's their version of Army Builders. So, they're called Legion Builders, Deluxe Legion Builders. They have less paint applications than the full figures, um, so maybe very little paint in the, and things are just sculpted. But they're not no paint, no accessories. Um, and they're, I think they're made a lot to custom, you know, to pop and swap to do things with. Um, but people love them, I love them. It's what we buy the most for customizing the paint to take a helmet off here or an arm off there and use for stuff. Uh, but also you can build your legion out, right? So if you wanna have like a king orc and then some of the less paint application orcs are behind them, you can have that. And they're lower cost accordingly. Uh, so this uh, wave of figures is seven, and it was 200 bucks for the seven figures. So whatever that is, $28 a figure or something like that. I think that's right, is what it came down to. So uh, a good cost. I believe that's right. Seven figures, 200 bucks. Maybe six figures. Um, we'll find out in a minute. And uh, one of the other things I like Four Horsemen does, they used uh, various YouTube people that support them to reveal these. So like my buddy Kent, Kent got to reveal a figure. Uh, the Amazing revealed one. Toy Bro revealed one. Uh, I'm trying to think of everybody that did. I'm going to miss people. Um, but a lot of different people, uh, Curtis and Jesse, they got to reveal one. I mean, and some of those channels have just a couple hundred subscribers. So I think it's awesome that the Four Horsemen of Jeremy and the marketing team of Four Horsemen, they, um, they care about the people that genuinely, their fans genuinely care about them. And again, I'm thankful to them. They are, they are uh, to, to letting us have access and to film this stuff that we're going to film 
coming up. I just think it's really cool. So we're gonna open these separately in a different video, but I'm gonna show you what they are. Um, now, these are sold out currently, but if you're going to Legion's Con, they will have them in stock. And then next year, early next year, so in like two months, right? Like January, I think, you'll be able to get them again. So if you're interested in these, they'll come up. And uh, if you buy them individually, they're probably like 27 bucks each. So this guy is the only um, non-Legion builder. He's a regular figure. He's a Silverhorn Century. He is probably like a $37 figure um, if you buy him individually. Because you can see he has the paint on his armor and such. Very popular figure. This was a true re-release, the Silverhorn Century. So he's one of the flock, meaning like one of the animal creatures. He has. Uh, he's almost like a like a deer soldier type of thing. Century, I guess. Very popular figure that I think finished fourth in the most recent all-star voting, or last year's all-star voting. So they made him in this way, which I think is cool. Then you got, this is the figure that can't reveal, the Vampire Phalanx. So these are, this is a brand new figure that has a lot of reused parts, but in a different assembly using a different head in a different way and horns. But you can see that's a, a pretty much a plain black so not a lot of accent pieces painted and so forth. Uh, that's figure Kent got revealed, which is cool. This one I'm very excited for. This is the Templar Relic Guard Legion Builder. Also kind of brand new, brand new colorway for a Templar. Some different helmet combinations. I think that looks great. Then this guy is a re-release Cabin Dwarf 2 Legion Builder. So I think he has everything that the original Cabin Dwarf did, but he has a second head. So he's re-released, but with an extra head, which is cool. And maybe slightly different paint. I'm not sure about the Cabin Dwarf. This one I do know. The Gold Knight is the same thing, has an alternate head, uh, but is a re-release of Gold Knight, a very expensive Legion builder from the first Kickstarter. This has updated paint. Uh, shinier, oh, oh, I missed. Shinier uh, gold paint um, and a different head, which is cool. And uh, we got one more regular size figure. If I can get to it. I cannot. We'll do him last. And that is the Shadow Orc Grunt. This is a new figure, new combination. I think he looks like an Urukai. You can see him. Shadow Orc Grunt. Legion Bell. I will rearrange those in a second. He's cool. And then the uh, final figure. Sorry, buddy. Is Ogre Legion Builder 2. So they had the green ogre with the alternate head originally. This ogre is a Cyclops. If you can see the head on him, he is a Cyclops. So you've got one pure re release in the Silverhorn Century. Then you've got three, and I'll try to put them in that order actually. Re release, traditional re release, just with an extra head. Traditional re-release, the Gold Knight, with an extra head. And the Dwarf, re-release with an extra head. This is a, a full re-release, Silverhorn Century. Nothing new about it. Then you've got, this is a new figure, the Orc Grunt, the Templar Knight, Templar Relic Guard, and the Vampire Phalanx. So that's cool. So yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 200 bucks for that. So you figure if they were $25 each for the six, that is 150 and then $50 for the big boy, or probably more like $27 each for the six, which would be, you know, whatever. And then like $40 for the big boy, something like that. But there you go. That was $200 for that. Uh, and I'm happy with it. I think it's good. Now, these are the boxes. They're going to come from NECA. And actually from Walmart Collector's Con. A series of words that nobody wants to hear. Walmart Collector's Con. That and Target hall -a -thon, I think we all pretty firmly hate. But it was easy this time. Um, I got the G.I. Joe pre-ordered. The two, three G.I. Joes pre-ordered. And then this is the NECA stuff. This next stuff actually was in stock, I believe, versus um, a traditional pre-order like so much stuff in those is. And this is the, let me get it out. 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Secret of the Ooze, Foot Soldiers, includes the weapons pack. Dub, do you need that? No. Mm -mm. I sure don't. I have so many of the first movie Foot Soldiers. I think those are marginally different. I'm going to look at it, actually. Pull it back out real quick. Ugh. Looks like it's got the same weapons rack that they came with. Maybe they're muddier. This is not a two-pack that has like, they showed some foot soldiers that had like a beefier foot soldier, like a dub size. This ain't that. Will I immediately open that up? Nope, I won't, but I continue to be a sucker with NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm buying all of them just in case. Uh, so that one I'll just hold for a little while. I have it if I decide I want to open it up and display it. Feel bad about myself for that, but it is what it is. And then finally, this is also from the Walmart Collector Con. Now these I will open because this is a second release and the first release I didn't open kind of for uh, thinking that this release was gonna come and I was right. There we go. So, let's see. This are from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. The Samurai Turtles. The Samurai Turtles. Now, you said, well, Dub, did you get the San Diego Comic Con set? I did. And the Kino with Scooter. I didn't open either of those either. And I specifically, I think these look amazing. I think these will be in the running for figures of the year. Um, but I didn't open them because last year, or whenever they did the Secret of the Ertle, <laughs> wow, Secret of the Ooze VHS packaging turtles, they almost immediately released the two packs. So I figured they would do the same thing with these. They did. These only got shown, I think, at maybe just at New York Comic Con. New York Toy Fair. The Toy Fair, maybe. And then here they are. So, I do think they look great. I will open these ones rather than the uh, the VHS packaging from Comic-Con. I'll keep that sealed because uh, that packaging is cool. I think I still have the Secret of the Ooze one sealed. I opened the first one, the first movie, so I can never get the, the first movie sealed. I might pick that up, uh, the three VHS packaging. Made. But that thing's expensive now, especially because it has that diorama. But I wouldn't need that diorama. I have it. I wouldn't need the one that comes with the diorama. But... Um, I will tell you, um, it's getting harder, right? This, all of this is getting harder, putting more pressure on us. Natalie and I are, are trying to be, I mean, way. So we've done a lot better on uh, pre-orders this year. As you see, uh, no, very few six scale figures coming in, which is a big sink, very few statues. Um, and those are the things that really eat up a huge, huge amount of money. No more Marvel Legends. We got rid of all those and we were still buying a fair amount of those because we were getting the MCU ones. And a lot less of the onesie twosie type stuff that we had been getting. Uh, a lot less of that. Um, pull some of this down while we're talking. Uh, but there has been a lot of Sailor Moon stuff this year. Uh, and that's because Sailor Moon Cosmos is out in Japan, though it's not come out in America. So there's been a lot of Cosmos merchandise that I have been getting for Natalie because if I don't get it, like it, she'll never get it. Like that stuff sells out so fast. And it's so difficult to get that I just, I do pre-order that for her to make sure she'll have it. And the same with the Demon Slayer merchandise uh, that I get for Kaya. Because again, that's very popular stuff. And uh, if you don't pre-order it, you may never see it. Especially things like Buzzmod, as expensive as that stuff is. So we're doing better. We are, truly. Um, doing a lot better. But we want to do even better. So I've actually canceled. Uh, all of my pre-orders for G.I. Joe Classified and Super 7 Ultimates, all of them. All of them that weren't store exclusives. Uh, will I still pick those up? My mind says yes. I haven't said I'm going to stop collecting them, uh, especially the Turtles from Super 7. But they have all gone to clearance so often that it's just gotten, and, and the prices keep getting higher and higher retail. I just can't keep doing that. You know, I saw that a way eight of Super 7 Ninja Turtles came in. And they look great and I'm excited for them. And then, I, cause I get one in the box and one loose and it was gonna be like 500 bucks. And I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that. I just, I can't keep spending that kind of money on these things. 
And even even if I haven't, like I just it's it's not responsible. And uh, the, with the way interest rates are and and and, and all that, you know, you really want to be saving more and investing more, and not spending more. So um, I just being transparent, I have I canceled all those pre-orders. Um, I've also canceled a bunch of other random pre-orders. Uh, in fact, I only have pre-orders that I have paid in full for already, which is like my Mythic Legion stuff, which I love, Cosmic Legions. And then uh, some, I do have a couple Mezco GI Joe I've paid in full for. The big things, the Super 7 Turtle Van, the NECA Turtle Van, the Super 7 uh, Cat Slayer, all paid in full. The Haslabs paid in full. Um, and then stuff from Ami Ami, uh, like Mayfex and uh, like the import stuff, anime stuff, we have pre-ordered, and then the girls stuff. And I have very few other things pre-ordered anymore. I'm just gonna kinda make decisions like we did five years ago when this channel started, where we see it and we decide if we wanna buy it in person, not on the internet. And honestly, I would recommend a lot of you doing the same thing because it's money's harder it's, it, and it's not it's not easing up magically. And, and next year's an election year in America, which will also be kind of tumultuous probably. So um, pick your favorites, stick to those. Legions are my favorite. You know, and turtle stuff is definitely my jam. I love turtles, all time favorite thing. I just, I, I feel like my neck and Super 7, Super 7 less so, because I do want these waves that are coming out. But my NECA collection is complete. But you know, a lot of us have this disease where we just keep buying and we keep buying and we keep buying, even if we don't need it because we want that endorphin rush. We want something new. And we've talked a lot about that on Monday Motivations. And I've thought about trying to do like a, a discussion with some of the other big toy people about those feelings. And maybe we'll do that. But here we go. Um, maybe later in this episode, I'll show you some of the stuff out of the package. But not right now. I'm going to hang out with the pup. And uh, I do have to leave that he heard me. And then we do have to leave to go to Kaya's event. So we'll see where else we go. But we're definitely... Gonna have a color guard demonstration. Gonna try a new camera. I've got action tracking on Rufus. And I have his ball. So he keeps him in focus. Let's go get the ball. Well, now you're locked in on this package, I guess. I'm not sure that that really worked. Rufus, come back! Rufus, come back! Rufus, come back. Here we go. All right. Well, it, well, it sees him. It sees him. It sees him. It sees him. If I put my hand over there, it's blurry, but he's not. That's cool. You want me to throw it? Here. Here. Oh, buddy, you got to get it. There we go. Let's see. Does it still know it's him? It does. Let's throw the ball over there. It sees him. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't know what the use case is on life with the dubs for this but uh i can zoom in with it too one foot in the air like you just don't care wave it around that's nice bokeh though in that right body yeah moved ahead i'm at verizon so for the last 100 plus episodes that's what life of the dubs and dub life was filmed on iphone 13 pro max it's been a loyal servant for 26 months something like that but we're on the 15 pro max now transferred everything over to the device i'm holding that or that is filming on now i just got to hand this back to them pretty good that's what we did right there confirmed come in get the new iphone 15 pro on us so I did. i'm in natalie's car because she's in my car I'm bringing rose home there's the moon over here by the Mall of George. Oh, the hot, fresh now sign. No. Ooh, I've got 5X zoom now. And I know I've had like 20X zoom, but it was digital zoom. That's 5X optical with a lens. I don't like using the digital zoom much because it just, it doesn't look good. I film in 4K. Uh, so that promotion they were doing. So my phone was paid off. Natalie's phone was paid off. My parents' phones were paid off. Victoria's phone was paid off. All five of us did that. That deal. Um... So they were giving, so Natalie had an iPhone 12 mini, sells on eBay for like 250 bucks. They were giving you $850, I think, for that to trade in and get the new iPhone 15. And yes, you're, you're now tied to a whatever, two-year term because they just issue it as a credit. But I've been with Verizon for like 17 years. I'm not changing. 
and he, I mean, they'd have to really do something quite bad. Um, and then if you traded toward the Pro Max that I have and I got from my parents, I bought my parents those too. They give a thousand dollars for my iPhone 13 Pro Max and even a thousand dollars for my parents' iPhone 11s. And like those sell for like 80 bucks on eBay. So it in essence, they're giving you the phone for free if you trade something in, anything in, and then you stay with them for three years, which we were going to stay with them for three years. Anyway, I pay for my parents' cell phone bills and, you know, their Netflix. I try to, you know, parents have spent so much money on me. I try to take care of them and that stuff. So that's good. Cut too early. Now, I'm going to go to Target. It's right over there. I'm not just going because I have a video. I actually accidentally bought two Python Patrol officers. I already have this figure. I already have two of this figure. In fact, I already think I have like four of this figure. Why did I buy those? Well, G.I. Joe, this is like Python Patrol Officer 56. There's also Python Patrol Officer like 99 or 96 or something. Like a new one. It's called the exact same thing. Exact same thing. And the other two, the Tiger Force Flint and the Viper, I think maybe, they were the other two Target exclusive. I, well, Verizon's closing. I get here right in time. Um, ty, uh, Target exclusive Joes that went up at the same time, and they were suddenly in stock. So I had them on Parader Pulse. I canceled my Pulse. I got them for Target. I'd rather get them Target. Use the red card discount. And I ordered these two because I assumed they were the same thing. And then they're the old ones, which is incorrect. So I got to return these to Target. But while I'm doing that, yeah, we may as well check out the NECA Funko section. You know, we may go to Best Buy too because I am in I am in the market for a, a PlayStation VR two. So, we may go to Best Buy, too. It's like Go Places. That's the Mall of Georgia behind me. Target. And the GameStop over there is where James worked for years. And, uh, reminiscing, thinking about the last five years, how many times I've been to this little plaza. And, like, when I was doing Beat Up Fit a couple years last year, just last year, so last year, uh, I must have went to this Target a hundred times. And now, I've been here like twice this year. Um, but how often I used to go to that GameStop, or all these stores, and I didn't know what was coming out. you just find it and buy it, especially in the early years, looking for, to complete a Build-A-Figure wave and stuff like that. Collecting times are very different. Ooh, pumpkin spice. That was easy. It took 30 seconds. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't do any prep work at all. I just grabbed them. When I got here, I logged into my Target app. said, return. They gave me a barcode. They scanned it. They gave me my money. Or they put it back on the Target card. It's great. Easy process. Hey, the little Disney area. This area didn't exist. Well, this area didn't exist like two years ago. But, I, you know, I never... I don't even think I pre-ordered anything except Hot Toys back then. And Mesco. Neither of those items do I still really buy anymore. You just found out. You certainly weren't going to pre-order any Hasbro. Things like that. There wasn't even a way to do it. What am I doing? <laughs> is it a Minecraft cat? I don't know what that is. There also used to be a Toys R Us right across from the shopping center. And I don't think Toys R Us had gone out of business yet. Let's see if there's anything new. Scroll his Iron Man. Any new Lego stuff that I don't know about. That all looks like stuff I am familiar with. That music sounds like it's getting louder and louder. Don't copyright me the copyright song. Don't do it. Sp Spider-Man's a little sketchy. Uh, these ornaments? Tonys? What is Tonys? Definitely out on that. Bob Ross. That Bob Ross has been for sale for years. I bought that figure a long time ago. Anything in this little... Evolving powers. I'm not familiar with that set. Let's see what's over here. This should be where the Hasbro. I don't know what that was. Oh, all right. Oh, Kingpin. See, if that thing goes down like ten bucks, that I may actually buy because I have all the other Kingpins. So I just don't have an MCU Kingpin. That I might buy. Amazingly enough. Agatha Harkness. I mean, the MCU figures I still think look good. 
they're just uh we're just done legends i think this is the first time i've seen this gambit expo 97 and all i don't know that i think that looks good i don't know about that no junior racket out of place a little bit still america chavez all right what are we working with here uh viper see and then him so i thought that that cobra was gonna be another one in that line but dub was wrong and dub had to make a return we still haven't watched this still haven't seen that movie all right nothing here of interest is there optimus primal in uh that version yet studio series because that is actually a thing i would consider buying believe it or not doesn't look like it Let's see what's over here typewriter i like that lego typewriter city and flames etb is that oh that's pokemon clawful i know uh toy galaxy really likes that clawful he looks good i have the classics clawful so i don't feel like i need this for my snake mountain display but he does look good what's that 2000 skeletor andra from forever ortiz powerhouse hobbs man Britt baker how long has there been Britt bakers on the shelves all right let's go to the neko funko section the unusual middle turtles giant Raphael vintage vintage mikey giant Raphael not vintage <laughs> electro zapper <laughs> what is that is that the shredder it's the holothon shredder there's the red casey jones that is the recent target event but david already picked that up for me i just haven't got it from him yet I'll go in the pile of, did I really need this? And that answer's no. But we're all suckers. At least I'm a sucker. I feel like David probably says he's a sucker too. Let's see. I would get, I would consider getting the new Dungeons and Dragons Zerak, the like goblin creature. And is it Steelheart, the Knight? I do not have those pre-ordered anywhere, but I do not see them. And I like that D&D line. And those look good in images, and they look good in reviews. Clawful again. This section is, man, I mean, this, this could be the same section for the last five years. Nobody know the difference. Dune anime heroes what is this abyss mcfarland collector edition i don't know if i've ever seen that before all right well let's move on rocking the uh fruity pebbles today but i want to see do they sell the psvr here is it the spider-man console or just Spider-Man with the game. Five nine five fifty-nine. I think it's five forty-nine. Think about buying it used though. Doesn't look like they have it here. Because people sell it used on eBay for a good price. Alright, time to do. Cheers. How many lids? What a day when they don't have lids for your Starbucks. It's gonna make for a what am I supposed to do? I'm going to make it. I'm going to get it on my package. Let's see how this handles low light. I have no lights on. And it's dark. Not bad, looks like. Yeah, they were <laughs> out of lids. That's, uh... And the guy was like, did she tell you about the lids? I'm like, mm, no. And he said, well, we don't have any. You still want it? And he's like, handing it to him. What am I going to say? I'm like, no. I mean, I've already paid for it. I don't think I can get a refund. But it's fine. I'm driving seven feet away to Best Buy. I got pumpkin spice. I love it. I got to cut it out. Got to cut it all out. Get back to check out a lot. I got to refocus on. The beginning of this video is very reminiscent to early, maybe not early dub life, but kind of year two dub life. Once COVID hit and I didn't have to travel as much. Early dub life, I traveled all the time. All the different places I would go and to see friends, conventions and such. But here, local, vlogging. <laughs> getting receipts, returning stuff. They didn't return a lot back then, that's for sure. Um, 
I'm just trying to kill time, honestly, because Kaya's final competition of competition season, they'll continue to um, do stuff at the football games, but of their competitions, is in like two and a half hours, so like 15 minutes away. And I don't want to sit there for two and a half hours, so I'm trying to just kill some time. Not that I'm going to film all of it, but we are going to go to Best Buy. I'm going to drink this latte, and we're going to look at VR. See, so there's the GameStop. James worked out forever. You can see that target down there. And Best Buy. Nobody cares, but I'm showing you. This is the Best Buy we were at recently with those lockers when we had Juliana with us the other day. So we had the PlayStation VR 1. I had it almost since it came out. Loved it. We love playing Beat Saber. Kaya loves it. I love it. And then it doesn't work with the PS5 real well. And I always just thought it was way too cumbersome. All these cords. And... This has one USB-C cord. That's it. And, uh, you know, I didn't buy it right away. And then review six months later, really positive. People like it. Beat Saber's on it now. Updated. And Beat Saber's a good exercise game. And I need that in my life. So I want it. I think it's 550. I kind of think I should wait for Black Friday bundles here in a month. But then, like, you can get them on the eBay under $400. Use like once or twice. So I'm just, just weighing my options. Member deals. I am a member. I'm this one. $49.99 because it gives you buy two, get one free Switch games, like, as long as I've been a member of it, <laughs> which is worth, immediately worth it. If you're going to buy three games in a year, which we do. This one somehow gives you, like, warranties. Yeah, 24 months of protection. I got to look more into that. So is this stuff on sale for members? All right, my Best Buy Plus is $500. Get a $50 certificate with your membership that then you can use right after Black Friday. Okay. Does any of this exclude? Not that noise is terrible. I'm sorry. I guess Ghostbusters are here. I don't know if any of this is on some sort of plus and total member price. Well, shoot. Maybe the PlayStation VR would be like, I like that green Xbox controller. Well, that's what we were here for last time. We got Natalie's new Apple Watch. That's right. I knew we were here for something. It was for Natalie's Apple Watch. All right. Let's go to the video games, which I think will take us by a NECA Funko section as well. And Super 7 here, I think, right? Best Buy's all rearranged. That must be the, like, somebody stole something door. It's all rearranged from last time I was here. Oh, they got a Bowflex treadmill and bike. It's nice. How about uh, Best Buy saying they're not going to sell DVDs and Blu-rays in a couple months starting in June? It's not surprising to me. A little disappointing, though. I mean, Best Buy was kind of my go-to place to get steelbooks, and I only just stopped collecting steelbooks not long ago. I'm just meandering about lenses. I haven't really walked around and looked at a Best Buy. I used to be really into tech. And then I stopped. Because everything's too expensive. I see a bunch of arcade one-ups. What do y'all think about that Best Buy? No longer. Oh. I walked right up on the NECA Funko section too. Mortal Kombat 2. That's a tall one. So you don't have to use the stands like we have. That one's taller. Cloud. Oh, is this the... Uh, what's this thing called? Oh, I don't know what that is. That's something else. Wheel of Fortune arcade one up. NFL Blitz. That would be one that could convince me to buy. We have the others, or at least a version of the others. All right, last Ronin. The three pack. Who is that? Casey's Family Opera. Steel Clan Robot I just bought on eBay for 20 bucks. Because we are still buying those, I guess. Foot Enforcer, I got that from the guys, David and Sketch at Charlie's collectible show apologize there and no D&D &D. there's NECA there's NECA oh yes and there is Super 7 do you see that they're making a Krang like this Krang's Android body I will get that when it comes out I had a pre-order and I canceled the pre-order but I will get those Spongebob reactions this all the Super 7s no ultimates we got Pokemans. Alright, now, what am I? Oh, VR. VR, VR, VR. Come on, have some sort of like great member 
hookup price. Spin the wheel, make the deal, Halloween Havoc style. Headphones. PlayStation 5. They had these skins for Spider-Man. Like, we've only played the beginning of that game, but it's awesome. But those skins sold out really fast on their app. Anyway, where would the VR even be? Maybe you just have to buy it online. Because I don't even see it here. I don't even see it to, like, play with it or anything. That sucks. There it is. Well, there's the charging mat, but then 550. Doesn't look like there's any sort of anything on it. So that's what I was hoping for a, a this to try it out. I wonder if I can try this out. Will you just put it up, up to your head? Oh, oh, is it a lie? No, I can try it. It was a lie. I couldn't try it on, but look at this. <laughs> Odyssey Arc 55 inch LED curve 4K UHD gaming monitor. Look at that. Like that. Is how big? 27 inch monitor. <laughs> it's a computer monitor. What? That's with my a wide lens. Who needs that? That is ridiculous. Truly, who needs that? Uh, shout out my man. He came over. He's checking out my shoes. He was telling me about it. It actually swivels, has a free swivel mount. Just like a TV you would mount on the wall. Uh, he said it used to be $4,000. They had the member pricing on that. I didn't see that. $2,000. He said there's people that will swivel it and then put another one beside me. For what? What level of Call of Duty or Minecraft must you be doing? I mean, I guess maybe if you're... So I used to have an ultra-wide monitor that could pivot. And it would be great for like working on spreadsheets. Or like looking at the market. But it was like a 34 inch, not that. That's crazy. Shout out to that guy, he was friendly. He said they've sold very few of them and the people that buy it basically just see it and go, yeah, I'll take it. Plays that money. I'm actually gonna go into this GameStop. Safety, I have not been in that GameStop in a very long time. Let's go check it out. All right. Big Johnson, huh? Man, this store has to be the most appeared store of any store in my channel's history. And I haven't been in here in so long. Bunch of nope. Well, actually, maybe. Gotta look at those. Look at this stuff. That's a symbiote. We do keep getting symbiote. I'm not buying no new legends. I'm not doing it. Helmets? Uh, is there any of that that I might want? We don't need Naizawa. We already have a signature from him. Aruchimaru. Majin Vegeta. No, we don't need it. Oh, what's the Demon Slayer? What's that? Let me see what this is. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Is that Rui? Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Thing was thirty dollars. So I'm not getting it. It's just three dollars off. If it was like seventy-five percent off clearance. I'd be getting them big all night. Triforce trees. I'll be around with mine. That. And suddenly it's very quiet. Sriracha. What that is. Nothing there. Terribly interesting. All that pretty old. The villain blue beetle? I figure something out. I like this Christmas stuff they do. We may pick some of that up. Uh, do I care? No, I have that stuff. Oh, they are gonna have a oh, a Ginyu Force an exclusive pop set here in the Ginyu Force poses. That could be an interesting thing. Is that the Chainsaw Man? Is it Aki? Right, Chainsaw Man. Yeah, I think. I think so. It doesn't even have like. I guess it's in Japanese. I'm pretty sure that's from Chainsaw Man. Maybe not. I feel like there's somebody named Aki from Chainsaw Man. Uh, see, I like this. I like the demons. Because they are I don't know that they're going to make figures of all those demons. I think that's a pretty cool one. I liked those demons. The most recent Demon Slayer. See, all these things are... I don't know. I don't even have a price on them. They're just up here. 
Yeah, it definitely was chainsaw, man. That's power. Uh, is that raccoon? <laughs> Just what? Name your price. Just name your own price. It's a good sale. It ends this week. I don't think there's anything we need. I've just bought a bunch of games. There we go, VR. Those are both new. See, I bet this bundle with the Horizon, that's 600 bucks, I bet that's gonna be a Black Friday item. I just feel like it will be. No pre-owned VR. That would've been nice. All right, there's nothing that we need to do in here, I don't think. I guess I could look at VR games. While they're by two, get one. For Gran Turismo 7 is one I wanna get. But it may end up being part of the the bundle so who knows didn't buy anything did good almost got me with the buy two get one free sale close why you say well we just got four new games <laughs> like i told you detective pikachu sonic whatever the new sonic is superstar or whatever mario wonder spider-man 2 those games are going to occupy us for a while not as long as like tears of the kingdom did because Natalie and I at least both put like 150 plus hours in that. Um, these are like 25, 30 hour games. Um, but they had uh, the Grand Theft Auto Remastered Trilogy for PlayStation 4, which I think is the most modern you can get it, um, which is Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Those are certainly the games that I grew up playing on PlayStation 1 and 2, like a lot of you probably, and uh, have a special affinity for those games. But there is no modern way to play them until that release. Now, I know that thing got horrible reviews and looked really janky and so forth. But I think it's improved a little bit. Uh, but they had that. It was $26 used for PlayStation 4. Then uh, one of the things Kaya has been asking about. We, we play a lot of party games as a family. Mario Party, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers. Those kinds of things. But we don't have any trivia type games. And she actually asked about getting some trivia kind of games. So they had Smarter Than a Fifth Grader and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, both on Switch, both for like 17 bucks. So it would have been like $45 after tax, and I would have got those three games on the sale, which is good. But um, we just got four new games this week, literally this week. So there's no reason to do that when we have a, a great back catalog of games. But those are some things I'm going to be on the eye out for. Plus, I like to leave some of that stuff on... Amazon wish list for presents that are low cost and such. I do want that Grand Theft Auto. I I realize I I don't know that I've ever really played Grand Theft Auto Five. I looked and I've bought it on Amazon in like 2014 on Xbox, but I don't remember ever playing it. Um, so I would like to get Grand Theft Auto Five on PS Five, which I think is the most remastered version or whatever. And I'd like to play through those four games. Uh, I don't think there's a way to play Grand Theft Auto Four on any of the modern consoles. I think you have to have like a 360 or a PlayStation 3 to play that. It's amazing that Grand Theft Auto 5 is like 10 years old or something like that and there's not a new one yet. Um, but I didn't. I didn't spend money. All right, I'm going to go watch the kiddos' performance. Maybe I'll have a clip. Maybe not. But probably um, the next clip. I don't know. We'll find out together. But hopefully this is the end of the old school dub. And we got the family for the rest of the video as we celebrate new beginnings, the beginning of year six of the dubs. All right, now rub it. If I may die, walking back, I won't, uh, I won't tell you exactly probably did or where we're at but uh, i'll just tell you I, I probably put a clip or two in there and kai and the team they had their best performance of the year finished the highest they finished the whole year and that was after having a disappointing opening start and uh in the preliminaries and almost not making it to the finals which would have been a big disappointment they responded really well went to the final performance and put their best one of the year which is awesome in your final competition to do your best performance of the year that's, that's what you want to do that's what you want to learn how to do when you're on a team is to put your best foot forward when it matters most kai is very excited uh, in fact maybe i'll put a clip of her celebrating right after this 
and uh, then we'll pick this up tomorrow with some more Life of the Dub celebrating a brand new year. Celebration. It is. Oh, hey. Let's go with this It's the next day. It's next it's... evening. And we're going to do this now. Oh, you tried to hit me with the flag. I don't know. Can you hear me? I don't know. This no, group is you're gonna have to go inside if you're gonna be like that, sir. All right. So, you're tied up. Let's do this. by request of the comment section and mom, mm -hmm. we're gonna do a color guard routine to celebrate the beginning of the year six. And then after this, are we done filming for YouTube forever now? Hey, okay, now what? Hold up. Uh, to celebrate the beginning of year six. I don't, there's no really other any good explanation for this. But first, I have to learn the choreography that I made. That Kaya made. We will have to play music when some of it. So right now, you're just gonna what? We're gonna do some quick lessons that we'll film. All right. Then we're gonna jump ahead to a performance unless something absurd happens. All right. So I feel like I should. What do I do? <laughs> so unroll the flag. Unroll it. Yes. Un unroll the flag. Like it's a pizza roll? <laughs> now what do I do? Okay, um, so I'll just like help you with some drop spins to like warm up wrists. Drop spins to warm up. Well, we're warming up. We're getting loose. So just hold it up like this. Your right hand at the tab and just straight up and... What's the tab? The tape? The tab is this where little, the... This little like foreskin so piece? So the tab is where the tape meets. Like all right. where the pole meets so the So the little ridgy area. Okay, the uh -huh. tab. All right. All right, so just hold it up straight up with your eyes. And you're gonna go hold it with my eyes. Wait, hold it like direct. I don't, I don't know how to in do that. In front of your eyes. Oh, in front of my eyes. Okay. It's in front of your eyes. Yeah. Straight. And then you're gonna go down. Down. And you're gonna grab into the silk, into the into the silk. Flip your hand around. This one. Nope. The other hand. <laughs> this one. Yep. Okay. Okay. So then you're gonna go up. Other way. Yeah. Up. And then grab with your right hand on okay. the tape. That's tape, okay. okay. Then you're gonna go back down. Which way, left? Yes, left. Left. And then you're gonna re grab here. And go back up. Then grab with your hands next to this each other. This way? Yeah. Go up, grab hands next to each other. Mm -hmm. And then just keep going down and up, staying on the pole. I mean, I can just do it like this. Like I'm gambit. That is. Not it? Something. I think I remember we could do it like this without. We could do this. Is that it? Oh, yeah. I like doing this too. I don't think I need proper mechanics. I think I just need to learn. Okay. I think we're going to have a stroke. Yo, kick the ball for me. Okay. Yay. So, we're, we're not going to put gonna the wide lens on us. We're not going to really focus on counts right now until we get the music in. Okay. And just teaching you the overall motion so we can yeah, speed let's it just up go or with slow it, it down. Okay. What's the first thing we're going to do? So you're going to start in a right cradle. So you're going to take the flat right into cradle. Your, in your right hand. Like fetal position? In your right hand. In your right hand. Under Underside yeah. like that? Yeah, and you're going to... No. Okay, so flick up. And now grab it. Like this? Yeah, just like that. Okay. So you're cradling it. We are not holding our Hold thing up. the what same way. Your... I would have had it right. Like this. No. It's not a cradle. You're cradling it? Yeah, like that. You had me like this. What? That was like a reverse. That's what you had me doing. We have that in some of our things. Okay, so start cradle uh -huh. on the tab. Yep, on the tab, okay. Okay, that's not cradle. Under my pit? It, uh, has to oh, it has to go out. up. Yeah. There we like you're cradling. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then you're gonna go. Start in B plus. Okay, good. B plus. So you can go. C's out. to degrees. I don't even gotta have a B. Out. Okay. So, yeah, so it's out. I got my color guard out there. And then up. Out. And then, and then up. up. With the pull up. So you're uh -huh. then out. So yeah. you're gonna curve forward. Curve forward. Wrist roll. Okay. Yep. Here. Yep. Yeah. And then you're gonna flip up, grab. Flip up, grab. Nope. Don't change your wrist. So you're here, and you're just gonna go up, grab. And you're gonna grab at the bottom tape, which is the mm -hmm. tape closer to the crutch tip. Okay. So then you're gonna go. So you're gonna grab, and then you're gonna slide down. 
don't do a lot of slide, I'm gonna tell you that. Alright, and then I feel like I should move out of the way for this part because this part. We'll see the slide for We can be staggered, yeah. yeah. So then you're gonna go. You're gonna step your right foot in. Uh huh. Throw it. Um, and as you do that, no, we're not gonna throw it yet. You're gonna step and lift up. It's gonna go behind you. And then back up. And then forward. I've already forgotten the first thing. Okay? Yep, okay. And then you're gonna go. Um, Okay. What about like this? Hello, tough guy! No. We haven't gotten there yet. Oh. Now what do I want to do? So now, now it's wrapped around my stick. Ah, so after you... I've fixed it. So after you flipped it, you're going to go... Um, yeah. So you're going to go cone... Oh. Nope, okay. So... You're gonna go up, then back, and then forward. Oh, oh, hit the table. And then, all right, this is gonna be the trickier part because we're gonna get into the toss now, okay? Mm. So you're gonna go thumb flip grab. That was a toss? No, this is not Show the toss. Me again. This is the getting into the toss, okay? Kick that ball so you don't sprain your ankle. Kick away over there. Okay, so hold on, let me go real quickly. Let me show you what we're trying Bump, to roll up. This is what we're trying to get to, okay? Hold up. Down. Okay, so it's yeah, so down, out, up, and grab. Yeah, and then it's thumb flip, wrist roll. Okay. Let's get to the thumb flip grab, throw it in the air. Let's do that. Okay, one. so so this is after we do the, the slide down and go up, back, grab. Mm -hmm. So ready? Up. Up. Back. Behind you. Yeah. Lift it back up. Back up. And then it comes back in front. So up, back, and front. And then you go with your right hand, so you're gonna push down with your left hand, mm -hmm. and it's gonna grab it with one hand, at the tab. Here? Yeah. Okay, and then you're gonna go behind you. Behind me? You're gonna spin, you're gonna just go turn behind you, and then you're gonna do a wrist roll and grab at the top tape. All right. And then you're going to Grab it behind you like this, and you're gonna end up in this money. Money. Money grab. So your left hand is gonna be at yep, the tab, yeah, like this, and then your right hand is gonna be in the money. Give me like the money. The Give money me the money. Tab. Give me the loop. Give me the loop. And then from there, you're going to um, use Throw. your left hand Throw. and push down, and then pull up with your right hand and release it. Throw it. So show me. So just show you, okay? Yeah. Throw. It. Throw. It. I'll do the the leading into no, it. The throw it part. So. Oh my God. So you're you're gonna want to try and do a single, okay? That was closer to a double. So a single, oh, single or hard, okay? So single is just that. Get all right. You're here. Show me again. So at the tab with your left hand. Okay. Oh, you're in this one. Yeah. And then. Watch out, buddy. You're gonna be at the top tape with the right, or actually, yeah, like splitting, splitting. Okay. Splitting. Rufus. Rufus. And then you're just going to take it and then push down. We're just gonna go to the release. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do the movement, but don't actually release it. No. So you're going to push down and just go up. Yes. And then you're just gonna do that and get a single out. Try to grab it with both hands. But then I can't do the Dion pose if I catch it. How do I get the back, back to this? All right, show me how to get back in that pose again. Okay, so we're gonna grab it. Um, okay, so grab with your left hand over at the bottom tape. Brian, Brian, please. Not that. Okay, so 
left hand over at the bottom tape, which is the one closest. Yeah, that one? Yep. And then right hand under at the tab. Yep. And you're going to push down. Thumb. Little wrist flip. So. Ready? So. Wrist flip. It's, it's not a toss. That's not fun. It is a toss. So he leaves your hand. It's just a little grip switch. So this is going to move our flag. Okay. So this is going to take the flag from this side and you're just going to flip it and it's going to move your hand over to where it needs to be. Wrist flip. So this is going to take your hand from um, under to over. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards you're going to go back. Make sure your flag's on the left. You don't have to change your hand, just step. Put your hand under. Grab, grab under. That? Yes. Okay. And then, you're gonna go. Yeah. So wrist, and then. Hold up, nope. Oh my gosh. This is making it so We're confusing. We're gonna cut this. Ah! That's a, we'll just, the next clip will be some sort of a uh, success, perhaps. is going to be fantastic. Did you enjoy that? Absolutely, 100,000. So that was like 45 minutes of choreography with some uh, adaptations. <laughs> so now we're gonna show you what uh, Kaya's full choreography set with the proper music is as a pro, as a pro does it. As a pro? As, a, as, a, oh, uh, as an award, program? as an award. We, she she did most, I mean, most of it, I, I think I did pretty good. Did you do that. the under the leg thing that we would seen? The under the leg, no, I did not. Under the seat. Oh. No, there are things for all three of the dubs. Did there you see are. all three did you catch references? All three references? I did not. All right. Well, we're gonna watch it again, and you, might and you be can able see to if you see, see the references. references. I got the ride the horsey reference. Yes, yes, that's me. Did you see the Kaya and the U reference? I did not. Oh, okay. You'll did get you see them. where I went ham with the bow staff like Donatello? Yes, I did see that. That was top shelf. That was uh, ad lib. That's uh, I forgot what to do. <laughs> she will not. Let's watch Kaya. All right. Let's see the real show. All right. Let's see the stuff I did. The same Mm-hmm, yeah. Sing it now. <laughs> All right, now... Do you see all her choreography genius? Yes. All the references. Did you see all the references? No. Ooh. Did you see any of them? No. So at the end of the first okay, movement, go see. go to go, sh go slowly to the first movement. Oh, I thought, was there a Sailor Moon pose? Hang on. Let's, 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 real show. Slow. Here's the first. Slow. Going slow. Yes. All right. Yeah, I did all this flawlessly. Clearly. Yeah. What's that? Oh, Zanetsu. The Zanetsu yeah. sword pose, yeah. That's, I saw, I noticed the squat, which I knew you probably wouldn't have. Uh, Did, I was displeased at that, yeah. <laughs> throws it, yeah, All throws right. it, uh huh. And I'm then sure. we go. We waddle it. 
just get to it before you hit me in the face. Don't get hit in the action. <laughs> yeah, don't get hit in the action. That would be disappointing. There, the, the right, Shinsuke okay. Nakamura pose. Nice. And then, of course, at the end, we have the, the horse. Hit us with the triple. Hit us with the triple right now. A triple? Yeah, hit us a triple anything. I don't think triples can be done on flag. Any triple. What's the, what's the biggest throw? Probably like a double and a half. So hit us with the double and a half. <laughs> Just hit us. One, two, three, go. I can do a double. Hit us with a double. Hey, what's your favorite throw? That one? Oh, look at that. Flawless victory. Well, if that's not happy <laughs> beginning of the sixth year, I don't know what it is. Fantastic. Huh. We're going to play Mario. We might, I don't know. We're going to watch. We have Loki. We have Mario. We have Spider-Man. We have Sonic. We have so many things, Rufus. There's something we're going to give Rufus. He does have a prize from Miss Vicky. One moment. I got that in the mail today from Pulse. Tripwire. I'm not opening any of this on this video because we're at the end. But Victoria on vacation got Rufus some bird dog. Dog, ginger snaps, whole wheat flour, peanut butter, canola oil. And then there's a word that I don't recommend because I would eat the rest of it. But then we got to mix <laughs> toco furls. <laughs> and then a Jack Skellington toy. You want a new toy, Bubba? That's a yes. We got to have to cut it. Man. You want that cookie? You want the toy instead right now? You want the toy first? You want the cookie? Maybe he'll want it at bedtime. Bedtime. Yeah. yeah. You want the toy? You want right. that toy, buddy? Oh, would I'm sitting like, here for the toy. Would you like your new toy? Yeah, good toy. Would you like this? Mr. Jack Skellington with the squeaker. Yes. Okay, there you go. There's your new Dumping toy. It, it. Yeah. There's your new toy. Yeah. The last, the video that's aired as we're filming this was just primarily Kai and I, and it was said, Queen Dub is missed. Where's Aww. Queen Dub been? She's not been in the video. She's missed. All right. Enjoy your toy, buddy. Skellington, he's so happy. He loves we're we're going to enjoy hanging out as a family and doing it again. So that's the end, celebrating the beginning of six years. Next week, the start of Legion's Con with Natalie and I on a road trip to New Jersey, intern for a day, all that stuff. And then, uh, whatever. So here we go. Rufus, can you, can you hit it? Can you hit can the, you hit it? can you hit it? Can what should they do? What should they do while they're waiting for the next week? He's trying to find it, daddy. Do it. I believe in you, buddy. I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> I think mommy cheated. Squeeze it.